Thì Yến rất vui được gặp lại quý vị trong chương trình Tôi và Việt Nam kỳ này trên kênh truyền hình FBNC. Kính thưa quý vị, trong giai đoạn những năm 1950 đến 1970 thì Peugeot là thương hiệu xe máy nổi tiếng được nhiều người ưa chuộng với những dòng sản phẩm như là S55 hay S57. Và đến những năm 1970 trở về sau thì Peugeot lại tiếp tục khẳng định tên tuổi với Peugeot 102 hay 103. Và sau 50 năm vắng bóng thì Peugeot đã chính thức quay trở lại Việt Nam. Và quay trở lại Việt Nam lần này thì Peugeot sẽ mang lại cho chúng ta những sản phẩm nào và liệu Peugeot có chuẩn bị để đối mặt với những sự cạnh tranh khốc liệt đến từ những đối thủ từ Nhật Bản hay là Italia vốn là đang chiếm lĩnh thị trường tại đây. Và hôm nay chúng ta sẽ có cuộc trò chuyện cùng ông Xavier Kaysen là giám đốc văn phòng đại diện của Peugeot Motorsic Việt Nam, Trung Quốc và Đông Nam Á. Xin mời quý vị cùng theo dõi ngay sau đây. Hello Mr. Kaysen. Uh, Hello. Yeah, let's start with your personal experience in, in Vietnam. So okay. how long have you been here in Vietnam? And so actually, I first came to Vietnam in 2010, so mm -hmm. a bit more than 60, six years ago. And I have different since since then. And for Peugeot uh, Motorcycle, Peugeot Scooters, for almost two years now. Have you ever like driven a motorbike on Ho Chi Minh City Street and how is that? Yes, uh, well, uh, I didn't do it at first. Uh, you need, uh, I think, some experience with the, the traffic to be able to, uh, to, to drive. I was a, a motorcycle rider back in France, so I thought everything was, was uh, uh, normal for me, but actually <laughs> you need to get used to it, but when you do, it's okay. And, and I do ride, uh, obviously, a, a Peugeot scooter. Yeah. Uh, I was uh, happy to be able to test several of them. Uh, how long did this take you to like to get used to everything like happening down the street? Uh, I don't know, a few months maybe. Okay, so <laughs> returning to Vietnam this time, what kind of products would Peugeot be introducing to Vietnam market? So yes, Peugeot is, is returning or coming back or I don't know, there are different words to, to, to say this because actually we've never completely left the, the country. As you know, there were some uh, uh, imported vehicles or, 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 or bicycles. So the brand has been present in the country for, for some years. Mm -hmm. uh, now we are uh, uh, launching our latest uh, and most modern vehicles. So we have two types of vehicles. We have imported vehicles, which are quite large displacement scooters uh, with Satellis uh, RS400 and CityStar RS. And we have a locally assembled uh, vehicle with a Django. So Django, uh, for which the, the design was inspired from um, uh, popular scooters from the 50s. Okay, so what are the differences that those products uh, are from, from other competitors' products? First, we are the only French uh, manufacturer, French uh, scooter manufacturer uh, in the world. We're also the oldest uh, uh, manufacturer for motorcycle because our company is already 118 years mm -hmm. old, much older than, than the, the others. So we are living with this experience. And the fact that we are French means also we have uh, possibly a, a different taste. Uh, as you know, France is very popular for, for wine, perfume, cosmetics. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm not saying that uh, our engineers or design come from these other industries, but there is something special about the French design, and this is what we want to bring. Uh, as I said, Django uh, design was inspired from a famous uh, Peugeot scooters from the 50s, so very iconic, and mm -hmm. this is really the first thing we see on Django. And the second thing is that it has a specific two-tone color body combination, which makes this vehicle stand out of the crowd. And with the others, so City Star and Satellis, for those who vehicle, we are also bringing something very different to the market. In 1970, uh, 70s, uh, Peugeot is, is the legend with, with uh, I remember, 102 and 103 Correct. lines. Yes. But now, return to Vietnam this time, you have like a totally new look, new energy, new technology. So, what made you believe that? they will win like Vietnamese people's heart. This time. So you're completely right with the, the 103. 103 was a very iconic vehicle. We mm -hmm. call the moped or velomoteur, as we say in French, mm -hmm. uh, actually uh, a bike with an engine. But in the early 80s, uh, Peugeot completely changed to, to modern vehicles and uh, uh, to scooters. Uh, Peugeot was the first brand in Europe to bring uh, uh, plastic body scooters, the mm -hmm. first brand to bring uh, uh, anti-blocking system uh, ABS, uh, 
uh, injection, uh, 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 compressor. Uh, so we have, bringing, we have been bringing new uh, technology to the European market for some time. Coming to Vietnam is basically um, penetrating a, a segment of the market, which is what we call the premium segment. So basically mm -hmm. vehicles that are worth more than 50 million uh, uh, Vietnamese dong. This segment was almost uh, uh, inexistent 10 years ago. Um, and since then has been the fastest growing segment over the past 10 years, uh, but actually with quite a limited choice. Uh, there are limited competitors, limited uh, models, and because this is the fastest growing segment in the market, we are bringing something new. We are bringing wider choice to the Vietnamese customers. So return to Vietnam this time, as you mentioned, you will face with the compari competition from Japanese one or Italian one. So are you prepared for that? We are, we are prepared to competition. We, we, we know, uh, I've been here uh, studying the market, building the business plan for, for some time, so uh, n everything is not new to us. Uh, but there are many reasons for us to come to, to Vietnam. First, mm -hmm. as I was mentioning, um, looking at this segment of market where that we are targeting is the fastest growing segment. Uh, people are, are, are upgrading the vehicles from the Cubs to automatic scooters, from mainstream automatic scooters to, to more premium scooters. Mm -hmm. um, and we are uh, just answering this demand for, for, for a more uh, premium uh, vehicle. Second is that uh, when we are in a mature market like we are today, uh, the average price is going up. Uh, our competitors have seen this, we are seeing it as well, so mm -hmm. we are once again offering uh, new vehicles in this, uh, in this segment. But meaning that people are not considering uh, uh, the scooter as, as a commodity to go from A to B, mm -hmm. it's also what this vehicle will bring to this uh, social status, uh, how they will stand out of, of, their, uh, to, of the crowd and how they will compare to their colleagues, to their neighbors, to their family, having this vehicle compared to, some, to, to other brands. Actually, Vietnam is the first country for Peugeot uh, motorcycle, for Peugeot scooters, to launch a brand, completely brand new uh, website. Vietnam will be the first country to launch the new brand store uh, concept. This is part of the different experience that we are offering to, the, to our customers. Another thing that like Vietnamese authority do care is the emission standards. Mm -hmm. so how do your scooters, Peugeot, Peugeot scooters, like comply with the standards? Well, they, they, they comply very well. Uh, second, we also go beyond the, 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 the standard. Actually, standards are, are changing from uh, January 1st and we will actually go a step further because our uh, European uh, scooters have to comply with European standards and we are not going to downgrade our European uh, scooters for the Vietnamese market, meaning that uh, the vehicles we will be importing next year mm -hmm. uh, will be Euro 4 and for Vietnam quickly switch to Euro 4 because we don't want the Vietnamese uh, customers to miss the opportunity of having less uh, polluting vehicles. Not only Vietnamese authority, but the, the customers do care about yes, that. Yes, and, and all governments are, are going this direction. How about like after after sales service and the dealership like uh, conditions? I mentioned the brand store, and actually this brand store concept is about uh, the customer experience. Not only a big uh, room where you have uh, tens of scooters that are piled up, but we want this showroom to be something else, to be a place where people are, are happy to come, uh, to enjoy the time they will be spending with the brand, not only trying to find out which is the best scooter for them. On the other hand, we're also working on the after sales because actually not only our vehicles will have a three-year warranty, but we also have three-year roadside assistance, meaning that if anything happens with the vehicle during three years, you, you call, uh, and, and a, a truck will come to, to pick up the, your scooter and handle the, the scooter. Uh, also, I have to say that in addition to those uh, 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 premium services, our partner uh, distributor here in Vietnam uh, ha is offering uh, a brand new service, meaning that for all customers uh, ordering a vehicle within the pre-order campaign, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the pre-launch campaign, uh, they are getting one year concierge service, meaning that um, not only when your vehicle has an, an issue, uh, is breaking down on, on, the, on the road, but also when you, do, you want to do maintenance, you pick up your phone, you call, 
we come at your office, we come at your Perfect. home, we pick your vehicle, we bring it back to the, main, to, the, to the workshop, we do the maintenance and bring it back. You don't have to, to, to uh, handle your, your vehicle uh, at any time. Okay, thank you very much. We'll be back after a short break. Yes. Thưa quý vị, chúng ta vừa theo dõi phần 1 của chương trình Tôi Việt Nam ngày hôm nay với cuộc trò chuyện cùng ông Xavier Kaysen là giám đốc văn phòng đại diện Peugeot Motorcycle tại Việt Nam và Đông Nam Á và chúng ta sẽ quay trở lại sau ít phút giải lao.